that Corona clap. Get that Corona clap. Hey yo, it's Ari. I look and make it, but I can take a message. Hey yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Abby coming right back at you with another video and today I'm gonna show you guys how I installed this cute 10 inch straight bob wig that I got from Premium Lace Wigs. Um, Premium Lace Wigs, I must say, is like one of my top favorite companies to work with so I'm gonna make sure and leave all the links in the description box below so you guys can get all the info on this wig. They're mad affordable so you don't have to freak out too much about getting scary prices so go check out those links. But yeah, so onto the install, um, I started off with just cutting the lace. Actually, I started off with bleaching the knots that I did not show on camera. So off camera, I bleached the knots for like 20 minutes. I left the bleach on for like 20 minutes. And just a quick um, tip when you're bleaching the knots, if you wanna do that, make sure to make your mixture very, very thick so that it doesn't leak onto the hair. That was a mistake I used to do in my beginner days of lace fronts. But now I learned the formula to make the the pasty kind of texture for the, what you call it, the bleaching powder. And I use the BW bleaching powder. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And when I'm cutting, I make sure to cut in like a zigzag, non-straight kind of motion, because like I always say, that gives a way more natural look when you rest it on your forehead and not on your hairline, on your forehead. So here they gave you kind of like pre-baby hairs and I always see people doing this. So this time I was like, let me try it out. Let me try and cut my baby hairs before I put it on my head, which I never do. And I'm not gonna lie, I really regret doing that because the baby hairs were like way too thick than what I was used to. And I cut so much already so short because I've seen people do this, but I didn't really like the thick baby hair look on me. So yeah, I would suggest not doing that if you're not a baby hair person, but it's not ruined. It's just that I wasn't really feeling it. So here I'm just showing you guys the construction of the wig cap with the adjustable strap and the combs. I just slipped my hair back in a low ponytail, but I always think it's better to do cornrows because you don't necessarily want someone to touch the back of your head and feel that little ponytail going on. It's not that cute. But listen, man, if you lady, you in a rush, just put your hair in a slick ponytail, especially if your hair is short, it works out better for you. So I did put um, a little bit of face powder, just a little bit of face powder on the lace to help it blend more because I need to buy a lace tint. That's something I never had and I really need to get a lace tint. But in the meantime, I just use my face powder and I dust a little bit on that lace there. And I the wig fit so well that I only glued the sides. So the front and the top of the wig laid really well with the adjustable straps. And why well, I don't use the combs because I don't like combs, but it fit perfectly there. Obviously, the flaps never fit perfectly unless you got an elastic band. And even sometimes the elastic band doesn't bring down the flaps. So I decided to go ahead and use my got to be spray, which again I will link in the description box so you could buy that. And I decided to do the method I always do. If you guys watch me install my wigs, you notice I always do this method where I spray it on top of the lace. Here it got a little messy because I had makeup on. So I really, really suggest you do this before you put, on, you put on makeup. But sometimes you don't have that luxury. So go ahead and try and clean the area, which I did not do. <laughs> anyway, I'm using one of my favorite mousses. It's the Tresemme mousse that you could get. I, use, I honestly get this at my grocery store, Super C here in Montreal. But you can get this at your um, local beauty, not your local beauty supply. I didn't get it at Walmart or online. Like I left the link in the description box of, um, as well. And I'm using my edge brush to just swoop the baby hairs. This is like not my style baby hairs, but because I already cut the hair before putting it on my head, I had no choice. But some people like this kind of, what do they call it? The curtain swoop. Baby, I don't know. I ain't ever gonna do it again, but if you like it, you can go ahead and do that. If not, I suggest you cut the baby hairs on your head so you can see how it's laying and whatever. But you know, here's to try something new. So now I'm taking my favorite flat iron, the Baby Bliss. I will also link that in. I feel like I'm saying that the whole video, but everything is gonna be linked in the description box because I get a lot of questions usually and I'm like, it's always in the description. So check the description box for the links. And I take my handy dandy head scarf that you guys always see me use for everything. And I'm just gonna tie it down for about 10 minutes. The longer the better, I say. And just let that kind of set everything in. And then after 10 minutes, I changed and then I took it off. As you can see, the baby hair has got a little crazy. So I went back in with some more mousse and tried to fix it up. But um, I don't know if I really fix it, to be honest. But 
either way that's the end result i really like this wig my only grief with this wig is that the ends are kind of thin i wish the ends were thicker but besides that if i knew how to cut here i would just cut that off but nevertheless it's really really cute a lot of people liked it when i posted on my instagram which by the way make sure you go follow me on instagram and yeah that's it <laughs> i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i love y'all peace